Come sit on the reading lap. This is a sweet book that was sent to us from a friend in Hawaii. Thanks, Beth. How about a pineapple? By Jenna and Danny Hickman. We're going to have a party at the Purple Squid Cafe. It's my best friend Nani's birthday that we celebrate today. I picked a pineapple for her, but maybe it's not right. I'll go remind our friends right now and ask for their insight. Hello, Mongoose. Don't forget, Nani's birthday starts at four. Is a pineapple a good gift or should I look some more? Pineapples are pokey, but I have something grand. I'll bring some fresh papayas, the sweetest in the land. I don't know what to tell you, so you'd best be on your way. Why don't you go see Honu? He'll have something good to say. Good day, Honu. Don't forget, Nani's birthday starts at four. Would you like a pineapple? Is it a good choice to explore? Hmm, pineapples don't last long, but I made a gift that will. Here's a seashell necklace that's a present sure to thrill. I don't have a clue what else Nani thinks is nice. If you ask Pueo the owl, you'll get some sound advice. Hi, Pueo. Don't forget, Nani's birthday starts at four. Would a pineapple be a present she truly won't ignore? Pineapples, pineapples. I eat dozens all year long. For something special, coconuts. Now there, you can't go wrong. Coconuts are tough to beat. Of that, I'm quite aware. If you go visit Nene Goose, she'll have a thought to share. Greetings, Nene. Don't forget, Nani's birthday starts at four. If she gets a pineapple, will she cheer or will she snore? Well, pineapples are fine, but a hakule is awesome. I worked very hard and picked, hand-picked every lovely blossom. Not much time to make a gift as wonderful as mine. Maybe Mina could help you find a present as divine. How's it, Mina? Don't forget, Nani's birthday starts at four. How do you think a pineapple would be a gift that'll score? Giving gifts is not a game. Please keep that in mind. I'm picking juicy mangoes, as many as I can find. The best things come from trees, but that might be hard for you. You should go ask Gecko what exactly you should do. Hi there, Gecko. Don't forget, Nani's birthday starts at four. Would you give her a pineapple, or would that be a bore? Hello. You think a pineapple is easy for one like me? I'm a gecko. When I come, I'm bringing fresh lychee. You're almost out of time, but don't give up just yet. You could still ask Crab, but you know how grumpy he can get. Aloha, Crab. Don't forget, Nani's birthday starts at four. Do you think a pineapple is an offering she'll adore? Mm, pineapples take too long to ripen. And that's all I'll say on that. I've already spent the last few days weaving this Luhala hat. There's no time to waste. The party's where we need to go. Help me and grab that bag. Hurry up. You're moving way too slow. The guests are here because it's almost four. And everything looks set. But I'm still not sure a pineapple will be the safest bet. I didn't get it from a tree and I didn't make it myself. It's not from the deep blue sea or the brightest thing on the shelf. A pineapple it must be, though no one else did recommend. Too late to second guess this, because here comes Nani, my best friend. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy. Thanks for giving me what I wanted most. You threw me a festive party, and you've been the perfect host. And pineapples are my favorite. And you gave me that one too. Everyone is gathered here and it's all because of you. It doesn't matter what you give from flowers to fine art. You never have to worry if you give it from the heart. The end. 
What a great story. Thanks again, Beth, for sending it. If you love the book, please leave a comment. If you have any other great book ideas or want me to read a favorite story, please leave the title in the comment section and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. Come sit on the reading lap.